In this tutorial, I will show you how to filter and sort this plant database. As you can see, each column has a filter uh, dropdown, uh, which you can use to filter and sort uh, that particular column. So for example, if you want to sort this first column alphabetically, you can click on this drop down arrow and you can select uh, these two options to uh, sort it alphabetically. Um, and for example, if you need uh, a plant type that is shrub, then you would go to plant type, click the drop down, go to filter, and then deselect and select only shrub and click OK. And that will uh, filter the database according to your selection. Uh, let's say you also need a deer resistant plant. You would go to the drop down, click filter, select yes, click OK. Um, and let's say you also need a native plant. So native plant, uh, native to California. You would click filter, click yes, OK. And now it will show uh, th the list of plants according to your selection. You can always uh, deselect any of them or remove the particular filter. Let's just say you want to remove deer resistant. You would just click on the drop down and click uh, clear filter for deer resistant. And as you can see, it removed it. Um, We'll just put that back. Um, and also, you see uh, some of the names you're not able to see as it, it's longer than the column. You can always just double click to um, re reveal the full name of the plant. Same thing here. Uh, so once you have the list, uh, filtered, uh, you can scroll to the right uh, and put in your uh, information like, for example, you need um, five of these of this first plant. Um, and the size you need a 10 gallon. And under notes, you can put um, anything that you like, for example, uh, for the front yard, and then click enter. Uh, and you can continue uh, to add this bit of information for each of the plant on this list. Once you do that, you can go down and click this download button uh, to download the particular uh, this database which you have sorted, uh, then you can um, send that to a um, nursery or um, uh, send it to someone by uh, email. One more thing that I want to mention is if you need to um, filter and sort the database again, uh, let's say you have added, you know, like 10 um, um, you know, one, two, three, like four filters. Uh, you can just simply go and refresh the page uh, and that will uh, refresh all the filters 
and you can uh, put in your entries again but you do want to note that it will refresh everything and any notes that you have added will be removed so you want to add the uh, the quantity size and notes at the very end uh, once you have your list uh, your final list of plans that you want to uh, print or download uh, from this database.